This is Chantal Darbogosian. And Ulysses Guzman. And we're here to share our weekly podcast with all of you. Join us every week. See you there. All right, this is recording number two. We started recording our first podcast, but I forgot to hit on <laughs> the microphone. The struggle is real. Get some coffee, girl. <laughs> Luckily, it was sure. only two minutes in. But anyway, this is Chantal Derbogosian. I'm here with... And this is Ulysses Guzman, not to be confused, to El Chapo Guzman. I'm the, I'm the nice version. <laughs> so we are obviously a couple for those of you who don't know us we've been dating two years now and we thought it would be a good idea to start a podcast because we have a lot of different discussions we are a biracial couple we did online dating that's where we met and we just feel like sharing our thoughts with all of you so it'll be obviously a bit of trial and error with these podcasts until we figure out what works what doesn't work yeah, being in a relationship, I mean, it is, you know, you're experimenting a bit, you're, you know, we we both have similar personalities, but we're polar opposite in other things as well. Like, for example, I'll wake up early in the morning and she will just snooze in and I will tell her, come on, let's go for a hike, let's go for a run. I'm a very nice. active I'm a very active person, <laughs> and she has her days. It's, it's you know, she hibernates like a grizzly bear. So you know things like that. But it's good to you know we improvise and we make it work. I mean, and that's that's great. I'm know? gonna interrupt you because how dare you? The listeners don't know who we are, and I'm a very busy person. <laughs> so yeah. there's times where you just want to sleep in and you don't want to do anything because during the week you're just exhausted with your work obligations and I have a lot of side hobbies that I do and I have to maintain this relationship too so that requires work too but mm -hmm. um, it is important to find a balance between morning and night person I'm a night person Ulysses likes to pass out at 8 p.m. if he has the opportunity to Mm -hmm. So that struggle is real, too. Yeah, sometimes, you know, on the weekend, guys, I know you've had this situation before that, you know, that's there's nothing to do and you try to scramble to find something to do for you and your partner because um, you don't want to be labeled as a stagnant, boring person. So sometimes I, I do feel pressured to do something on a Friday, Saturday or Sunday night. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you got to ask your partner. Do you feel like doing something? No, you... I don't. And it's great. You guys, could both, we could be lazy together and that's okay. You know, being relaxed and sharing each other's company, you know, it's, you know, it's great. I think being distracted by too many things, trying to do something, you know, going out at night all the time, it distract you guys from actually having a, you know, a good intimate moment with one and what with one another so you yeah. bring up a good point in relationships it's important to find that balance of being able to spend time together in an activity or travel since yeah. you and i love to travel together yeah but it's just as important to know how to be together in silence when nothing is going on and you are just just the two of you yeah. you have to be together and yeah. so knowing how to share that space is just as important as being active I think one of your friends was being an instigator. Mm -hmm. She was saying, you know, you guys are awesome together traveling, but what if that stops? That's true. Like, is, is that going to stagnate the relationship and see each other's skeletons in the closet? I'm like, what? She's stirring things up. <laughs> well, for those of you who don't know us, then you will get to know us via these podcasts. Ulysses and I are both avid travelers and we've traveled independently before we met each other mm -hmm. and then we continue traveling and we are huge adventurers. We go to Russia, we go to Southeast Asia, we want to go to Siberia and so we're constantly traveling. I mean, we have five to six trips lined up this year in the United States alone yeah. and so it was a valid question. Uh, the question was, do you think you'll get along if you don't travel together anymore? And, yeah. you know, that that is an important question. They weren't trying to stir shit up. Mm -hmm. um, it was, But it was a good point. Yeah. Can we be together when there's nothing going on? And I think that's a lot of um, a lot of couples don't know if they can or if there's nothing going on. That's where the problems start. 
I think in your relationships, um, they try to fill the void and, you know, being distracted by traveling a lot, hike, you know, finding activities to be distracted from one another. And you're right. I think it's good to have a lazy day, have a calm day, share each other's presence, you know, be silly together, be silent together. A lot of people get an anxiety that things are too quiet. It's becoming awkward. Not at all for us. Like we know each other's presence, but at the same time, we also, you know, respect each other. We give each other space. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we could be like a couple of inches from one another and, you know, I'm not being smothered. She's not invading my personal space because I'm very comfortable with her. Comfort is key. Yeah. uh, We share a one bedroom apartment and when we travel together, you're with each other 24 seven. And so we, we are very respectful of giving each other silence while we are in the room. We are on social media, on our phones. We go into our little bubbles. We read and we don't bother the other person, not on purpose. We just know that we want to give each other space. But it'll be funny because mm-hmm. he'll we'll be on our phones and I'll see him post something on Instagram. And I was like, what? When did you see this? And so it, even though you spent all day with each other, there's yeah. always something new. And guys, if you if you really need the the privacy, just go to the restroom. That's all you got to do. Excuse me. <laughs> like, hey, I got to go pee. And then, you know, 30 minutes later, you oh, come out. <laughs> so the truth comes out. Hey, women do it too, you know. No, we, we, we're we more uh, resourceful. I think they do it at work. I think there was a study that says that, you know, uh, employees will go to the restroom and take 15 minutes to 20 minutes because, you know, that's like their fortress of solitude i think moms do that too yeah it's a yeah it's a way to decompress so guys i mean if you if you can't do it like me just go to the restroom so but you (laughs) know don't take too long because women do pee and poop too so we need the restroom Jeez, you do it like you know 10 times well pmi no no she chantal drinks a lot of water so she she goes to the restroom a lot so it's good. I hardly drink water, which you're telling me to do more of because, you know, I get dehydrated pretty quick. So, but no, it's, it's great. It's a great balance that we have and you have, you have to test the waters, you know, it's, you know, you, there's a couple of things that she does get irked about. Like, of course, leaving the toilet seat open. I think every guy does that yeah. and leaving the cabinet store open. Ugh biggest pet peeve why why do people leave doors open i'm talking about cabinet doors in your bathroom in the kitchen if you're opening up a door to take out a plate why is it so hard to close it who wants to see all that crap but i'm not done yet though you know when i'm cooking yeah there is doors open but i'm not finished but you know you're not thinking about the short people yours is tall he's six feet i'm five four So when you leave a cabin open and and I don't see it, I run into it. But that's not the point here. The point here is no one wants to see the mess behind the doors. Closet doors, cabinet doors, any door, closet doors. Just close the door. But at the end of the day, when I'm done cooking, then I start closing everything down. That's not true. Well, sometimes I forget, but it's not the end of the world. And I'm a little passive aggressive. Sometimes I'll just slam the door closed and I'll be like, oh, you forgot to close it. Boom. I'm thinking of the big picture here. Like I'm focusing more on trying to create, you know, you know, a good dinner. Not worry about no darn doors. But, you know, when I'm done with the kitchen, then I start, you know, cleaning everything up. You know, I wait till the very end. Yeah. You want it right away <sighs> while I'm in the middle of cooking. Balance, balance, clean as you go. This is a great topic for our next podcast. And now that we're nearing the end of this one, we hope you enjoy our very first podcast. We're thinking of naming this the Chantal and Ulysses show. That's lame. We know, but we can't think of anything. So if you come up with any names, feel free to share them down in and the go- comments below. And guys, if your girl is trying to tell you to close those doors, resist. Fight the power. <gasps> what? That's a lie. That goes against everything <laughs> Ulysses does. He's a great partner and he actually complies. So don't listen to this BS lie. Comply at your own time. <laughs> no. I'm just kidding. Find the happy medium. Exactly. All right. Until next time, this is Chantal. Adios. And Ulysses. 
<laughs> oh, we'll get better at this, we promise. <laughs> See you.